all right welcome back to another scrubs and ups today we're looking at a modern platinum manon player first time we're viewing a manon player i believe in the scrubs and dubs series as many of you know if you've been with me for a long time i used to play manon when the game first came out i thought manon was super sick uh alas she wasn't the character for me but that doesn't mean she's a bad character i know some people think she's a bad character she's not the character for me you know idom's out there doing great work but I have a little bit of expertise when it comes to this character. So let's get into it. If you like the content, please hit that subscribe button. We're close to 900 subscribers. If you see this and we're already past 900 subscribers, then get us to 1,000 subscribers. Also, Alexio, I know you're in chat. I recommend you leave and actually watch. And actually watch the video, right? Watch the video and then comment on the video. If you watch it now, then there's no reason to be making the goddamn video if you think about it. All right. So what are we looking at? Good jumping. Okay, so first things first, if you land a jump in and you do back heavy punch, just go for the hit grab, right? Your goal as Manon should be always, your goal as Manon should always be to, to get the medals. So now Ring is jumping you. Uh, another thing about Manon is Manon doesn't have, this is why I kind of dropped Manon, is because Manon doesn't have any confirmable lows, which is annoying and not the best. Right, so a crouching light kick and a crouching medium kick are not special cancelable, so you can't DI, drive rush, none of that. Which is, uh, you know, if they gave her a crouching medium kick that was special cancelable, I probably would still be playing her. But having a low that you can special cancelable is very good in this game. I mean, look at Ring players, that's all they do. Bad EX command grab, right? So, so right now you're gonna lose this round, it seems. Good punish counter. Nice. So what am I noticing right now? You you ended that round with zero medals. Well, you have one. I know you have one medal. You ended that round gaining zero medals. You had two opportunities to get medals. You need to get medals. Level one. I mean, that, was, that was nice. Woke up command grab. There we go, finally. So right now, you should have already had three to four medals. Nice. Overhead. Level three. They're just getting fucking schmixerized. Man mashing EXDP on unsafe strings. Makes sense. We're in plat. So does Manon not have her crouching heavy punch? If Manon has a crouching heavy punch on Modern, you should you need to use Manon's crouching heavy punch. It is one of the best anti-air normals in the game. It leaves them right at your feet. We already know this Ryu's gonna wake up. DP. Got baited. Nice, good hit grab. That one just blew my mind. You landed the jumping heavy kick. You could have did back heavy punch, drive rush, back heavy punch, hit grab. You then bait out the shimmy, but then you don't even press a button. Yeah, okay. So situational awareness of your character is very important. Situational awareness is very important. You need to understand like when a character like Manon, you need a snowball. So by the end of what I recommend, which is what I usually aim for, is... Even if I lose the first round, but I, I want to make sure that I try to get at least three medals that first round. I can get five round one, of course, but you want to go into round two with three medals. Because now if you lose round one, go into round two with three medals, you land two more command grabs, now you have five, so you win round two. Now round three, the enemy's going to constantly just be holding up. You don't go for a fucking command grab unless you can guarantee it, i.e., you know, punish a, a DP. And then you, that's how, that's how you win the game. But now you have to use your brain. Okay. Maybe a little bit slow. Take a look. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't combo. I don't, I don't know why they didn't combo. The game kind of fucked you there. The game kind of fucked you there. I'll give you that one. Game kind of fucked you. Gotta react to the DIs, but 
Okay, so he did sweep. You blocked a point blank sweep. Why did you not command grab? The other thing that Manon suffers from is that not a lot of her normals are special cancelable. Unfortunately. Like, yeah, so it, it's from me watching, it seems like you don't understand frame data to an extent. You don't understand that most sweeps point blank, uh, or like every sweep point blank you can punish. You're jumping a lot as a grappler, you're jumping a lot. You're not reacting to drive impact. You're getting throw looped. Didn't react. To you, yeah. Nice, okay, command grab, but now this is where you fuck him. This is where you get his ass. You mess up the meaty. Probably should have level three there, I'm not gonna lie. Jump. Nice. Probably should have level three again, but that's fine. Yeah. Probably should have level three. Uh, because, you know, if you die with meter, you're not saving it for the next game. At level 3, what happens there, you put Kami closer to burnout. Um, which means that while also in your level 3, because it's in CA, you get closer to not being a burnout. The Kami still wakes up with level 3. You jump it like you just did. You command grab her, punish counter, it puts her in a burnout. Now you're already close to not being a burnout, which means if she does, you know, spiral arrow or anything, she, you know, they're not gonna... They're not gonna shape you out. Like these are things like you have. Like I, the moment that you punish the cami, I was like, okay, he's gonna. Like I already thought the next seventeen steps through. Like that's how you need to play. When you get up to higher levels, that's how you need to play. You need a, you need a concrete plan, and then if the plan deviates, you need to come up with another concrete plan. You don't have a plan though. It seems like it's like there's no plan. Right, you're jumping so fucking much. You're command grabbing Casper. Do the slide. You have you have the slide. There, do that slide. He has yet to block. Lo Good job. Okay, thank thank the Lord you command grab him. Nice. He listened to my advice in real time. Nice. Okay, this is a way better round. How the fuck do you lose this? Okay, that's how you lose it. And now you're full screen. I assume you're probably gonna jump a lot. What's going on? Nice, he's dead. Okay, so how do you lose this? You have four meter. The JP player doesn't know how to play the game. This is actually the JP player's little brother. How do you? What are you do? Okay, okay. I you guys you guys need to get this through your head. Why would you jump there? Um, I thought he was going to do the slide for a second. Why are you allowing JP to make space? What are you doing? Why are you walking back as a grappler? What are you going to do full screen against JP? Nice. Okay, now you have five. How the fuck? Excuse my language. How the fuck do you lose this? Slide on his dumb ass. He's not blocking low. He's not blocking low. What are you doing? React to drive impact. If you were gotten hit by that command grab, it. react to drive impact. You, you need a. You need to apply that pressure. Hit, you need to grab him. Why are you jumping back when he's doing command grab? Like, I feel like I'm being mean. I'm not being mean, though, because that's the, the point of this series is I do not fucking lie. The point of this series is I do not fucking lie. You need to fucking pay attention to what's going on on your screen. I'm starting to think you, he turned off his monitor. I'm starting to think he turned off his monitor. 
and he's trying to like play with only sound cues. There's no shot he had five for the first time he fucking slid on him. Why are you jumping back? Yeah, I, like... Like, in the nicest way possible, like, you just... You need to understand what your character does and how your opponent reacts. That JP player never blocked low, and you have a really good slide, right? It is, and now, I know it is, like, unsafe on block, but I'm telling you right now, on Platinum, they're not gonna fucking react to it. You have a really good fucking slide that sets you up. Oh, there you go. You do a round start against the Jamie player. Nice. Good job. Why are you making space? What are you doing? Why are you fucking walking back? What is back there? What is what is back there? Is there a fucking machine gun? You're gonna fucking pull out the gat and start blasting them? Why are you walking backwards, my guy? Jamie needs to drink. So why? And you don't have no full screen fucking moves. Why are you not applying pressure? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm just, I'm slightly just disappointed. Nice. Good command grab. Good slide. Why did you neutral jump? What the fuck was neutral jumping going to do? Good command grab. You need to, you know, you need to disable your up button. I'm not going to lie. For like five games, turn off your up button. You don't need to jump. You jump way too much. So what did he do here? Did he do back throw? Okay. So forward throw is the fake. If they forward throw you, you could have woke up slide and punished them because did the other one. That's a fake thingy. That was good. Nice. Don't disappoint me. Okay, yeah, go full screen again. Okay, he wasted his level three. So, Jamie is going... You have three stocks. This Jamie player has wasted their level three. You have your CA, level one and level two. You are in such an advantage state right now. You are so much in advantage right now. Jumping again. Good command grab. Okay, so now you have four stocks. You know what? You what do you know what else I've never seen? I've never seen you drive rush before. I've never seen you drive rush. Random jumping like it. I'm so like invested. Punish counter. Nice, you have five stocks. For the love of God, kill him. Alright. I didn't even want to watch it. I didn't even want to watch that last one. Like... You need to understand your character. It, it's the same as like if you play Dalsum, right? If you play Dalsum, you, you're, you're not going to always be 
just in their face pressing buttons right there's there's a range on which you're supposed to play a character can you deviate from that range yes manon is a character who does not deviate manon gains nothing full screen there's not a single thing manon gains while full screen dalsum jp guile do great full screen and they can beat your ass in a combo luke ryu ken all do great mid screen and they can beat your ass in a combo manon you need to be on their ass it's that simple if you're gonna play manon you need to be on their ass you need to un you need to understand frame data you need to understand what's negative and what's not negative you know like and like and, and once again like this isn't me trying to be mean this is me not lying because i will not lie you need to understand your character you need how much time do you play in training mode 38 hours 38 hours in training mode right how much time do i have in training mode let's see how much time do i have in training mode I have 32 hours, right? So, which means, so this, yeah, so this is what I'm, so what are you doing in training mode? I have 32 hours in training mode. You have 38 hours. What are you doing in training? Are like, that's, that's honestly what I just want to know. Is like, what are you doing in training mode? And this is, well, yeah, this is not me trying to be mean. I'm saying like, you, if you're in training mode for 38 hours, you need to start practicing stuff. You need to, you need to open up frame data. You need to start practicing Manon's buttons. You need to use her back medium kick target combo, which is an overhead. I don't even think you probably knew that. It's also special cancelable. I don't think you probably knew that. I don't think you know that Manon has a pseudo infinite when the enemy's in burnout. If you mash fucking stand medium punch, you can just beat the shit out of them. Right? Like, there's so much stuff that Manon has that I just don't think you know. I just don't think you know. I didn't see a single Jaguar kick. I don't think it's probably on the modern easy inputs, but you need to learn how to do a back, a core circle back heavy to do the overhead kick. That move is actually very useful. Like, you need to learn the character. And, I, and that's the thing, right? Is like my chat is like, hey, maybe you should switch characters. That doesn't help. Because if you switch characters, you're not gonna, you don't understand how to break down a character. You can go to Guile, sure. And then what happens if you don't use Flash Kick on Guile? You can go to Luke. What happens if you don't use your perfect your perfect knuckles on Luke? Like, you go to Ken, you don't you don't use his run. You go to Blanca, you don't use Blanca Chan. You go to JP, you don't drink. You go to Mercy, you don't use their armor moves. It's not about what character you play. It's the fact that you need to you need to understand how to break down a character's strength and weaknesses. That's what it comes down to. You need to understand your character's strength and weaknesses. And then you can jump to another character and figure out their strength and weaknesses. And disable your jump button for five games. That's the end of the video. I'm sorry. If, if you guys think I'm a dickhead, dislike the video. Comment down, comment down below saying I was too mean. Or comment your CFN. And, uh, and I'll review your matches. But I'll see you all again. Hit that subscribe button, comment down below, leave a like. And I'll see you all next time. See ya.